today's video I just got to give a massive shout out to the gas gang yes you guys are sick you have been showing that love and support it's been overwhelming and it has been wiki catching up with you guys on the weekly live streams on discord hey we're building a community right and also a massive shout out to last week's winner of our free giveaways which we do every couple of weeks guaranteed he took a brand new Noble Chairs AMG Patronus Edition. On top of that, he also took a brand new Xbox Five. And guys, for this week's giveaway, remember I got that sick fire suppression system fitted to my Porsche? Well, yes, FEV fire suppression are literally supporting the cause, supporting the movement, and they are giving away a free fire suppression system similar to the one that went in my Porsche this week. Guys, you've got until Saturday for this giveaway. All you need to do is be part of the gas gang. And on top of that, remember, we're giving you fat discounts from all the best automotive companies which you've already got joined up to the gas gang. Literally, all you need to do is be part of the gas gang. On top of that, the new merch has dropped. Now, you can buy the new merch even if you're not part of the gas gang, but obviously for the gas gang, you're getting fat discounts. And on top of that, I hope everyone who is already part of the Gas Gang is enjoying the new behind the scenes footage that we're filming, especially for you guys. Um, it's been fun making and I'm glad that everyone so far has uh, received it really well. So guys, look, we're gonna get back to this feature right now, but if you're not in the Gas Gang, links will be in the description. If you're not in, you're out. Let's get back to the video. Good. So what's going on Gas Gang? Today we are back with an epic video. Just look behind me. We have got a fully forged hybrid turbo 500 brake horsepower, Noble M12 GTO 3R. Guys, this is gonna be sick, so stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to the channel, brother. Hello, mate. Hey, this is a special one you brought to me today. It is, yeah, it is indeed. Something you don't see much anymore. I don't even think you would have seen these much around when they first come out, to tell the truth. Pretty no, rare car, right? They are a rare car, yeah. Cool car, but rare, yeah. What's the actual name of this in its entirety? So it's a Noble M12 GTO 3R. Okay, cool. And that would be the kind of middle spec, top spec, base spec? It's, it's basically the one before the last one they did. So they did the M400, which was like the last highest spec car. And okay. the 3R was like the one just before it. Okay, cool. And um, the 3R in its kind of basic spec, mm -hmm. what kind of power would that make? It's 350 horsepower, yeah. 350 horsepower, and at what weight? Uh, I think they're about 1,080, a okay. standard. Okay, cool. And this one's obviously had some 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 playing done with it. Do yeah, wanna... it's been leaned on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell us tell us what's been done to it. Um, so it's running 500 horsepower just over at 1.2 bar. Nice. Um, we've got forged pistons and rods. Turbos are a T28, but a modified version. They're reworked by Owen Development. Got you. Um, then the exhaust, we've got external wastegates, tile external wastegates, wow. front and where, rear. Exhaust literally just from the turbo to the floor, both front and back. <laughs> so it's proper loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal head gaskets, um, reworked heads just to improve the flow. Wow. Gearbox wise, mm. is that stock too? Um, everything's been strengthened in there. Okay. Um, originally it's a six speed Getrag, but yeah, it's been strengthened as well. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, LSD, anything? Yeah, automatic torque bias and LSD as well in the rear. Yeah. Okay, wow. Mm. So w what's the purpose for this car now? Would you say it's like more of a track beast or fast road car or it can do both? I've, yeah, I mean, ultimately you've got to put silencers on the exhaust or something to get it on track because it's too loud. Um, but I just use it like a fast road car, yeah. Wicked. But it's, it, mate, it's about, 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's mad. It's, it's <laughs> completely mad. <laughs> it looks completely mad. With, with that said, the engine is what? We'd be saying a three litre twin yeah, turbo. Three litre twin turbo, yeah. And, and, and people say it's a Mondeo it's, engine. Yeah, they say, that's why everyone calls this car a Ford Mondeo. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell people being up close and personal with this car is not a no, Ford not, Mondeo. No. What year is this car? 2004. Mate, this is a timeless design because it looks like it could almost be a modern supercar. It, it really yeah. does look nice. Yeah, when people ask me, I just say it's an old banger. <laughs> <laughs> um, taking a step to the outside, talking about it looking completely mad, mate. The styling on it is crazy. Do you want to give us a talk through the uh, wheels, brakes and suspension setup? Okay, yeah. So the wheels are actually a lightweight kind of, they're not forged, they're a flow form. Flow form, that's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Um, setup, which to be honest, once I swap the wheels over, the braking performance, you could just feel it immediately. Mm. It just got better straight away. So when people say, oh yeah, you won't really notice that, if you're really ringing the car's neck, you will notice. Yeah. Also, you're go, going into like geometry, corner balancing, corner yeah, weighting, yeah. sorry. Really good, yeah. really good thing to do because it immediately you feel the difference if got the you. car's out. Got you. I can tell you drive this car on the limit. <laughs> yeah, so, <right. laughs> Good man. And is it on stock brakes, did I see? Um, it's stock calipers, but the discs are at rate. It's got semi floating on the front okay. and just a normal disc on the rear, but they're like a higher content of carbon in the in the disc. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so so it stops? Yeah, it probably stops. Yeah, it's got RS29 padded um, pads as well. Yeah, it, no, it's, it's people like put bigger, um, like a big massive brake setup on these. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, mate, I drive this car really hard and I just don't think it needs it. I think you don't want to add any more weight. Right. You know what I mean? You just want to keep the weight down. Got That's it. what this is all about. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Would you say you've reduced any weight then on this? Because you said yeah. the standard at 1,080, right? Well, it's now 1,070 after okay. I've wet everything in it. Oh, wow. Um, after I've put like obviously bits on it, you know, like you know, little bits I've put on it, carbon, rear diffuser, bigger rear diffuser, like loads of little bits. Um, but I have, then again, I have took the air con out as well. Okay. Yeah. Race um, car. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it revs up better, apparently, but you probably won't know it's a difference. Yeah, You'll yeah. just melt in the summer and just get massively <laughs> on it. <laughs> wicked, wicked. And um, yeah, some of the styling, I mean, you did say you've got something cool on the air intake on the front or something like that to yeah. stop. Do you want to so it's a little gurney that goes over the um, where the uh, air exit is for the radiator. Got you. And it basically just stops the turbulent air mm -hmm. when it comes into the rear clam. It. it just basically makes it more stable, the aero. Um, obviously, the front splitter as well creates more downforce. Um, rear diffuser, again, it comes right out. Um, it's bigger because mm -hmm. they've got a diffuser on the standard, obviously. Yeah. And then, obviously, you've got the flat bottom. It's all aluminium lined. Okay. And that creates pretty much 60% of the downforce. You know, as you know, it sucks yeah, it to the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, to be honest, people, a lot, a lot of people say about aero and you don't really feel it. It's a lot of really but when you get into this and you really start leaning on it you do feel the aero you, you. you proper feel it the car feels really heavy when you start really approaching high speeds okay i mean just you look full. Yeah. 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 yeah 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 it doesn't it's feel good. nervous at high speeds it's yeah. still got that twitchy feel but it's it's properly sucked down to the yeah. tarmac, do you know what I mean? Wicked, wicked. So obviously rear wheel drive, I'd assume no driver aids at all? Nothing at all, mate, yeah. <laughs> yeah nothing. Is it mid-engine or is it rear engine? Uh, class is mid-engine, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, transverse mounted. Okay, yeah. interesting. Um, and then moving back into the interior, mm -hmm. quite a simplistic place to be, but mate, yeah. it, it's very nice. Alcantara everywhere, the seats look crazy. I it's love it, I love it. Integrated I, cage, is yeah, it? Yeah, all integrated cage, Alcantara. I, I, I love the interior of these, I love them. Um, it's got an M600 steering wheel wheel um i really like that as well um obviously got kit gar carbon gear knob and then an oil pressure and temp gauge because the standard ones are a bit yeah a bit temperamental um blanked off the stereo uh because it to be honest there's just no need you don't to. need a stereo no, in when, this car do you no when the car's modified to this level you don't really want to go out and poodle about and listen to the stereo it's you go out and it's a it's an event as yeah. opposed to yeah, yeah listening there's to no music. point cruising about in it yeah you know? yeah Wicked, wicked. Well, would you say that's everything in a nutshell? Um, there's loads of little bits that we haven't gone over, but yeah, the, the main parts, yeah, I suppose, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. All right then, bro, should we uh, go for a rip in it? Let's go, man. Let's yeah. do it, man. Sick. <laughs> Hell in here, isn't it? Not that loud, mate, yeah. Straight through exhaust, mate. Like, 
mad to hear. But as you can probably hear it. And obviously you don't see these cars a lot, right? So like to me this is the first time I've ever been up close and personal with one of these. I've only really seen them on TV or kind of I don't know, on the net I guess. Yeah. But like these are a supercar in a respect to what kind of brought out to kind of challenge like Ferraris and everything. Ferrari like, right? F40, yeah, that was, that was kind of trying to mix it all out, yeah. Which is crazy. What, what kind of money do these go for now? Do they hold their value? Yeah, I mean, you, you, these are still going for like between 40 and 60 grand. Okay, okay. So, um... That's a good... It, I, I expected you to say a little bit more if I'm honest. Yeah, so to, to be fair, for the performance you're getting, it's, it's a bargain. It's a bargain. Yeah. zero to 60s with the v box performance box touch yes we are doing a gassed up zero to 60 on this bad boy today now no driver aids rear wheel drive a lot of power but it does put the power down fairly well mm -hmm. what firstly do these do zero to 60 in stock i think it's meant to be 3.5 
3.5. So you got a lot to live up to. Yeah. But would that be perfect conditions? One person in it, this much fuel course, in it, yeah. it probably would yeah. be. Yeah, prep surface. Prep surface. Yeah. What are you expecting? What would you, I'd assume a 3.5 at least. If I could get that, I'd be happy. I've never done it before, so your guess is as good as mine. Okay. It feels quick, but... Yeah, I just don't know. You don't know. No. Okay, cool. Well, it's going to be interesting. Um, guys, before we actually do get into today's 0 to 60, um, just a quick word. If you guys are looking for uh, modified or bespoke car insurance, prestige car insurance, high value car insurance, um, make sure you check out A Plan. Myself and A Plan Insurance have now teamed up to bring you guys uh, really low rate and great insurance um, to cover all different needs. So check the links in the description. You will not be disappointed. Ready? Let's go, bro. Let's go. Good to All go. right, guys. So it is his first attempt, bro. When you're ready, let's go. <laughs> Three point one nine seconds. <laughs> what, do, what do you reckon? Are you happy with that? You want to go again? Let's have another go. Come on, let's see if we can beat it. Three point one nine in his first attempt. He's going again. All right, guys. So he is going again. When you're ready, brother. So that was a 3.41. A 3.19 is a strong time, bro. I'll put the leaderboard up now. You're ranking very high oh, on the leaderboard. It's not too bad for an old banger. He's doing the clutch. He's doing the clutch. He's doing the throttle. There's no drive rate. Um, I'm not sure where you're ranking, but I know it's quite high. You've earned my respect, bro. That is that's strong. That's good enough for me. All right, guys, so we're going to end the video here. Uh, as you see, just a passenger ride today. Um, and it's something that I want to let people know who are potentially wanting to come on the channel, but perhaps just want to bring me for a passenger ride. I'm down for passenger rides. I don't want to miss out on any cool cars just because people think I have to drive them. I don't. So, um, Jacob, thank you so much for today, bro. Thank like, it, it was such an experience just from a passenger seat, getting to experience an amazing car with a sick driver. Um, Brilliant. Yeah, as I say, this, this channel is all about different experiences within the motoring world for me. And today I could tick another one off the box, if that makes sense. Brilliant, um, brilliant. So thank you so much. Um, before we do go, also, I want to put people on to the fact that you actually have a YouTube channel yourself, right? Yes, just, just started it. Yeah, yeah so but it's, it's, it's good, guys, it's good. Trust me. Tell them about it. Tell them a little bit about okay, it. Yeah, we've literally just started. It's called Feathers and Tarmac. And, you know, it's a new venture, so... Yeah, obviously it'll get better and better as time goes on, but you know, we do the best with what we've got so far. Yeah, yeah, and trust me, he's, he's been quite humble. Um, I've seen some of his productions, and for a, for a new YouTuber, he's definitely worth checking out. And for me, hit that subscribe button for him. Like, um, he definitely deserves it. Um, Thank you. Especially, he drive, look, at, look what he drives. Like, you know what I mean? Look what he drives and how he drives it. So um, anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have enjoyed today, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And um, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>